Uh, this is Robert with NikonF100.com, uh, the enthusiast website for Nikon F100 uh, shooters. And today I'd like to show um, how to load film into the F100. Um, and this is probably the area that, um, if you're coming from an SL, from a digital SLR background, uh, is probably going to be new to you. So. Um, so today I'd like to show you how to do that. Um, the first thing you want to do is have the F100 uh, in the on position. Um, so that's the first thing you want to do is just turn it on. Um, and today we're going to go ahead and use uh, Ektar 100 uh, Kodak Color uh, Negative Film. And uh, this is part of their professional series of film. It has real uh, fine grain. It has good color saturation. And uh, it's it's overall a really nice film to work with, um, pretty much suited just to outdoor uh, situations uh, because of the film speed. Um, so first thing you want to do is um, go ahead and turn the camera on, and uh, you can see here in the LCD display on the top that uh, the letter E is there, and that indicates that uh, there is no film in the camera. Uh, or if there is film, it, it, it is completely rewound and, and ready for processing. So, um, in this case, there is no film at all in the camera. And what you want to do is open up the film chamber. And to do that, uh, there are two buttons on the side of the F100. Um, and what you want to do is, this top button here needs to be pushed in. That kind of, uh, you can think of that as it unlocks uh, the film chamber. And then this, the second one here needs to be um, pushed down. And both of those have to happen at the same time. And this is, um, this is to prevent the, uh, the door, the, uh, the, the film door, uh, from opening uh, during when you're out in the field using the camera. It prevents it from opening accidentally. So go ahead and you want to push this lever in the top one, and at the same time you want to go ahead and slide the bottom one down to open it up. And if you do that, it takes a little bit of practice at first, but then that door should uh, go ahead and open up for you. So this is inside here of the film chamber. And uh, basically, um, you want to keep this area clean and dust free. Um, so if you're doing this out outdoors, uh, if it's windy, uh, try to stand uh, with the wind to your back while you're doing this. Uh, your 35 millimeter typical film cartridge um, has a round hole at the top and a cylinder uh, uh, protruding from the bottom here. So basically, um, with this little spindle here, you want to take the film and Make sure that that top spindle goes into the, into the hole section. Uh, and there's nothing really for it to grab a hold uh, of on the bottom section here. And basically, you want to go ahead and advance your film leader. That's the part uh, that's sticking out of the, of the film cartridge. And you want to advance it right up to that where that red index is. Um, and you'll see that right here. Uh, that index marker... Uh, basically said so that's where you advance the film leader to and it should uh, catch um, this film leader at that point right there. I'm actually going to advance it just a little bit further than that and also you want to make sure that this is nice and flat in here as well. Uh, and then basically at this point um, you close the door, make sure it's locked in place um, and then to advance that to the first frame of your exposure, you basically take and hold down the um, shutter button. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then you, you just heard the um, film advance in place for the first exposure. And to confirm that, uh, it does say number one on here. Um, so that's really it uh, as far as loading film into your F100. Uh, it's a fairly automated process, um, and uh, it's, it, it's pretty straightforward. 
Um, and I've never had it uh, where it said number one and it really wasn't loaded properly or it, or it didn't advance to the next frame uh, properly. So that's, that's pretty good assurance that, that you've done the process right. Uh, again, this is Robert uh, with the F with the Nikon F100.com website. I encourage you to visit the website uh, to find out more information about the camera. Uh, there are some links to, to some external reviews. Uh, there is a forum there um, to pose questions um, and uh, just lots of uh, interesting information about the F100. And again, uh, go to www.nikonf100.com for more information. Thanks for viewing. Bye.